Finally tonight, our person of the week, a fitting choice for Memorial Day. He is proudly an old vet, the oldest of vets, the last soldier from what they call the Great War. And he still fights on behalf of the 4.7 million Americans who fought with him. Right from the start, very conscious of the war being a very serious situation. The war Frank Buckles is referring to is World War I. Today, at the age of 108, he is the only known living American veteran of that war. In 1917, Frank was too young to enlist, so he lied to the Army recruiter, although he doesn't much like the word lie. I didn't lie. I just mis mis misrepresented. Yeah. <laughs> Frank's misrepresentation worked and he became a U.S. Army corporal. I went overseas in December 1917 on the Carpathia, the ship that came to the rescue of the Titanic. The Carpathia was bound for England, and that was not where young Frank wanted to go. I was all on the hole to get to France. A regular Army sergeant said, if you want to get into France in a hurry, you go into the ambulance corps. Frank had learned to drive on his family farm, and that got him to France. When the war ended, he was escorting Germans back to Germany. And then, at the outset of World War II, 1941, Frank was in Manila when the Japanese attacked, and he spent three years in a prison camp there. Frank's service in World War I has been cited by senators. It's just uh, an honor to be in your presence. Applauded you, by presidents. Thank you very much for your patriotism and your love for America. And you'd think at 108, Frank's fighting days were behind him, but he is still fighting for a World War I memorial in Washington. Surprisingly, there isn't one, only a dilapidated monument honoring D.C. residents who died fighting the war. I hope they'll have uh, something of a nice report. And so we choose Frank Buckles. A bill to create a national World War I memorial on the Mall is, right now, pending in Congress.